What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Hope everyone's doing well. After that camping trip, the Jeep is completely covered in mud. Front to back, everything, every nook and cranny you could think of has got some sort of dirt and mud in it, on it, around it. So the Jeep needs to be cleaned and we're gonna do a nice deep throw wash everywhere, exterior for now, interior I'm gonna do later, but it's completely covered. You guys saw in some of my Instagram pictures what it was looking like, but we are gonna take all four wheels and tires off so we can get all nice and clean back there and not worry about reaching the pressure washer behind all this stuff and it'll just make our lives a little easier. So, but I mean, everything is covered in mud. Everything, so this thing needs a nice bath and we're gonna get started and I'll talk about some of the products we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using all Greer's products, of, cor of course, so we're gonna stay loyal to the brand and the company we work for, of course, and uh, you guys will get a feel for the right products to use in terms of um, Greer's products, like what we would use to do a vehicle or start on a vehicle like this. But we're gonna go ahead and get started, take the wheels and tires off, and then uh, get ready to wash. I want to go up one more on the jack. That's fine, so it's even. Oh, never mind, I got I'm it. Good. All right, so the first step is just going to be a pre-rinse, just getting the majority of the mud and dirt off. Um, just because it is really caked on there, it's been dry for a couple days, so that's what I'm going to do now, just blast it all off.
All right, well, the pre-rinse is done. Got a majority of the mud off throughout the uh, exterior and underneath. So yeah, I mean, it's a lot cleaner than it was before, right? So next step is gonna be the surface prep, which we're gonna spray on first, which is this right here. So the foaming surface prep is gonna, its main job is to eat at any dirt and debris, stuff that's stuck to the surface. So you're gonna spray this on let it dwell, which means sit on the vehicle or the surface of the paint for a couple minutes, let it do its job, attack all the dirt, and it'll run down after a few minutes, rinse it off, and then you're gonna go ahead and use your surface wash, which is that right there. So that is what you're gonna spray on afterward, and you're gonna use that and agitate by hand. So we have some wash mitts, and stuff like that and that's what's going to lift all the loose dirt that doesn't come off with the surface prep and then at that point it's clean and you get to dry it and then you put on whatever wax you want uh we're probably going to put some ceramic on that's just what's already on there i'm also going to be using the griot's boss foam cannon I like this cannon a lot because it's uh you don't have to pre-mix anything you just put the product in the canister or you can actually screw that bottle onto uh, this the foam gun itself and it's got a metering tip inside and it'll come with three metering tips and that'll determine how much of that product it picks up and uh yeah it's gonna throw a lot of foam That's the wide fan spray. You could also do, and it shoots more out at a higher pressure. I like the higher fan spray because you're covering more area and more foam. Okay, so we just applied and rinsed off the foaming surface prep. This has an alkaline in it, which is gonna really help to strip off dirt, road grime, and it will strip off old waxes. Uh, because there is ceramic on this, it's not it's gonna have a hard time stripping that because of how durable a ceramic is. But if you had a traditional carnauba or polymer-based wax, this would probably strip it right off. Next step is gonna be the foaming surface wash, this right here. This is what you're gonna agitate by hand. So we have some wash mitts. We're gonna spray this on all over. You can do one side at a time. We're in direct sunlight, which you don't really wanna be, um, but for what we're doing, it's all we can really do. Uh, but spray one side, wash it by hand, rinse it off, go to the front, do the same thing, side, rear, and repeat it. But if you're in all shady area, you can just do it all at once, but I don't wanna to go too in depth. But we're gonna do this, and this is what's gonna really get all the dirt and grime off completely all right so like i mentioned before we can just screw this right off we're gonna put this here 
And then this is our foaming surface wash. We can then screw this directly on. So you're not worrying about pouring any product in. You just screw directly on. Then you hook this up to your pressure washer and then you're ready to go. One thing that's really important if you are washing your vehicle in direct sunlight, like we are right now, the water's gonna dry really quick and that's gonna leave water spots. So you definitely wanna dry the vehicle as soon as possible to prevent water spots from uh, forming on the vehicle because they're not easy to get out once they are in and they can just be annoying. And then we're using the PFM, they're the XL drying towels, what are they, 36 by 25? Um, or 29, 36 by 29, I yeah. believe. And they'll hold about five pounds of water, so one towel is more than enough for this, but we're both using one, so it'll go by a lot quicker. Next step is going to be washing the uh, wheels and tires. Getting them cleaned up, we sprayed all the mud into the center of the Jeep so when we do put the wheels and tires back on and we go to roll it away, we're not gonna get mud on the tires we just cleaned that will then sling up onto the Jeep. Jeep's perfect, but you can see some of the new scratches that are in it on the hard top. So that one's pretty deep, it's fingernail deep, but let's see, I think there's a lot on this side. Oh yeah. You can see all those. See them on the side. The good thing is we are gonna be getting this thing repainted hopefully soon, right? Yeah, that's the goal. So hopefully in the next few months, we'll be getting this thing painted. We'll be doing it ourselves with the help of someone else. But uh, I'm really excited. So it's not gonna be like this forever with the fade into the black. 
as a lot of you guys thought that was cool. I want it to be all one color. I think that'll give it a nice finished look. And so, yeah, but we're gonna start working on the wheels and tires, get them cleaned up, and then throw them back on there and the Jeep will be done. So for the wheels and tires, we're gonna be using the same foaming surface prep, which is really gonna help break down all the stuff that we were driving through, if there's any oils, grease from other vehicles, things like that. So we're gonna go ahead, do one wheel and tire, and then we'll run through the rest of them. Now repeat three more times. The Jeep is all clean. It is back to the original clean state it was before we left for the trip. It is in the garage now because we are supposed to be getting four inches of snow tomorrow. And it is a beautiful 60 degree day today, which is why we waited to do it today. And so yeah, the Jeep's just gonna rest in here. And if we do get enough snow, maybe I'll have to go out and play in it, but we'll see. But Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the products we used or how to use them, just let me know and I can help answer the questions. So until next time, we'll see you guys.